Greetings from Dodosa. I am Bavo, the world's premier drag queen extraordinaire. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, or I shall smite them. Smite, smite them with my beauty, yes. Pavo has been doing drag for just over a decade now, and uh, Tartosa is very accommodating for those in the uh, alphabet mafia, as the Americans say. And uh, Simation is also accommodating if you choose venues to be Semishuno or perhaps Delso Valley. I, uh, I'm very flexible. However, Pavo himself is total top. <laughs> Pavo takes inspiration from no one, because there is only one inspiration for Pavo, and that is Pavo's own imagination, which also happens to be the limits of Pavo's drag. This again, Pavo's own imagination. <laughs> People will see Pavo on the television and be captivated. They will say, wow, I've never seen such a interesting creature on my TV screen before. And they'll wonder, perhaps Pavo is a new superstar, perhaps Pavo is a international celebrity. Well, Pavo can be both. In fact, by the end of the season, I strongly believe that Pavo will, in fact, be both, and will be the next magical queen. You should see Pavo rise very quickly through the ranks of Season 3 Drag Race, and you should see lots of drama, lots of laughings, lots of dancings, lots of fun, but mostly Pavo being number one, because Pavo is, of course, number one. But Pavo does not like to talk about these things. Pavo is more show, don't tell. So watch season three, no?